Bob Villa is an American television presenter, author, and entrepreneur, most popular for hosting the home improvement shows This Old House, Bob Villa's Home Again, and Bob Villa. He's been dubbed the first reality television host, a legendary handyman, and an inspiration for television host Hopefuls. Decades after his time on the show, he's still widely remembered as the host from This Old House. A burning question on fans' minds is what happened to Bob Villa, and what is he doing now? Follow along to know more about his life since leaving the show. Bob, the legendary handyman, Villa is widely known by fans as the man in plaid shirts and a soothing voice who patiently and passionately educated homeowners for decades. Where did he learn his skills? How did his fame come about? Read on to learn about Bob Villa's background. Robert Joseph Villa was born on the 20th of June, 1946, in Miami, Florida, USA. Not much is known about his family background except that he's of Cuban ancestry and American nationality. At a young age, Bob witnessed and helped his father build their family home from scratch, an experience that he later cited as the event that piqued his interest in home building and improvement. He attended Miami Jackson High School where he matriculated before enrolling at the University of Florida. He studied journalism, eventually graduating with a bachelor's degree in journalism, after which he enlisted in the Peace Corps and served in Panama from 1971 to 1973. During this time, Bob volunteered to build homes for Panamanians in need. It's there that he worked on his passion and gained more experience in building homes. Shortly after returning from the Peace Corps, Bob began restoring homes in the community in his spare time, using the first-hand experience he gained in Panama and at home in his part-time hobby. A while later, he attended architecture school but soon dropped out to start his company named RJ Villa Designer slash builder based in Cambridge, Massachusetts. He quickly realized how little architects earn and so opted for his first passion, home remodeling, designing, and improvement. His company mainly focused on restoring antique homes in the area and remodeling them. A few years into his business, he restored a very old Victorian Italianate house located in Newton, Massachusetts, attracting a lot of attention for the restoration, making it into local magazines. In 1978, he was awarded the Heritage House of 1978 by Better Homes and Gardens in recognition of the excellent job. This garnered the interest of a television show producer who approached Bob with the offer of hosting a home improvement show. Since there was nothing of that type at the time, Bob wasn't very keen on the offer at first, but eventually saw the invitation as a way to promote his services and gain more clients. Hence, he accepted. Little did he know that this offer would lead to a lifetime of success and recognition amongst millions of Americans. Once he agreed to do the show, the team began shooting a couple of pilot episodes. However, Bob heard nothing from the producers for months. Then, a whole year before they finally reached out to him, they had received funding for the series and planned to buy an old house and begin renovations on it. Bob spent four months filming the whole process of home improvement, something quite complicated for him since it would usually take about a year to renovate a house. Nonetheless, shooting soon wrapped up and on the 20th of February 1979, premiered on the public broadcasting service, PBS Network, Boston. The first of its kind, the show was nominated for and won an Emmy Award after just 13 weeks of airing. Villa recalls, it was a little thing because it was the regional Emmys, but that eventually snowballed into a media career that I could have never foreseen. In the show, Bob guided viewers through the lengthy process of remodeling and designing homes. As host, he invited skilled workers to talk about their craft and help explain to the viewers how a house was built and all the effort they put into renovating it. The unprecedented overnight success of the series surprised even the producers. They had 11 million viewers weekly at its peak. At the very beginning, Bob earned $200 a week, which then turned into $1,200 a week owing to the success of the show. After becoming a household name, he was approached by many to make commercials endorsing their products. This led to a disagreement with the show's producer, Russell Morash, when Bob commercially endorsed products by Rickle Home Centers, a huge competitor for Home Depot, which at the time was the show's underwriter, and so decided to stop sponsorships for the show. Their lumber supply partner, Weir Hauser, also pulled their funding to the show, 
In retaliation to Bob's commercial, in an effort to return their sponsors, the show's producers fired Bob from the show, ending his largely successful 10-year run. Fans of the show were disappointed by the change, but Bob was unregretful. He was soon replaced by Steve Thomas, and the show has continued for 44 more seasons to date. His frequent partner, master carpenter Norm Abram, stayed on until his retirement in early 2022. Luckily for Bob, he was able to use the experience he gained on the show to create his own series and pursue his passion. Shortly after his departure from the first television show, Bob produced and hosted Bob Villa's Home Again in 1990. The show was a weekly home improvement program by CBS Television Distribution and aired for 17 seasons over 16 years. In 2005, it was renamed to Bob Villa, enough of an explanation to his decade-long viewers. Unfortunately, CBS canceled the show in March of 2007 due to a decline in ratings, but good news for fans though is that the show is available on the streaming site Pluto TV. With his vast experience as an architect, home renovator, and designer, Bob has used his knowledge to pen some books, now an impressive two dozen and counting. His titles include This Old House, Restoring, Rehabilitating, and Renovating an Older House, Bob Villa's Guide to Buying Your Dream House, and Bob Villa's Guide to Historic Homes of America. A five-part series focusing on the areas of New England, the Mid-Atlantic, the West, the South, and the Midwest and Great Plains. Even before leaving the original show, Bob had been involved in several endorsement deals. Starting from 1989, Bob became a spokesman for Sears department stores and promoted craftsman tools and commercials. The partnership lasted until 2006 when a dispute broke out between him and Sears, ending the partnership. He also appeared on the Home Shopping Network, on which he sold a wide range of products from his own brand. The multi-talented Bob Villa also became an actor, appearing in the comedy show Home Improvement, a parody of This Old House, starring comedian Tim Allen as cable host Tim Taylor. The show included a segment called Tool Time in which Tim paired up with Bob, once again, a parody on Bob and Norm Abram's partnership, where they'd have live home improvements for the audience. Bob became a guest star on Home Improvement between 1992 and 1993, as well as in the Tool Time segment. He starred as himself as a rival to the host Tim Taylor with a hilarious competition between the two. He then starred in the comedy parody, Hot Shots, Part Due, in 1993. Bob is considered a successful contractor turned host who won the hearts of millions of viewers who tuned in to watch him work on his craft. Fans want to know what has happened to the legend, as explained above. Has he been keeping busy over the years? Although he is most recognized for the three productions he appeared in, Bob has created many more productions that are not very well known. These include Guide to Historic Houses of America, in which he featured homes across the four regions of the U.S. Some of the prominent homes include Elwood House, the Hammond Harwood House, the Dana Thomas House, and Thomas Jefferson's Monticello. He then produced In Search of Palladio, a study of the works of Andrea Palladio, a famed 16th century architect. Another notable production was Restore America, a 50-episode series broadcast from 1999 to 2000 on HGTV, which explored the historic preservation and restoration of buildings in each of the 50 U.S. states. Bob Villa has no doubt achieved a lot in his lengthy career. During his time in this old house, an average of 11 million viewers tuned in to watch the show, which won five Emmy Awards with him. Individually, he was nominated for a total of seven Daytime Emmy Awards. He's an inspiration for television hosts and entrepreneurs alike, who hope to achieve similar success as he's had. Jonathan Scott, half of the duo starring in HGTV's popular show Property Brothers, cites Bob as his inspiration. Their family almost always tuned into Bob's show. He revealed, That guy was like the soundtrack of our lives. The voice coming from our TV room, I'd recognize his voice anywhere. Despite it being decades since he left the show, most people still associate Bob with this old house. At the recent Habitat for Humanity Awards, which he attended with his wife, he noticed his name under this old house in the brochures. His wife wondered when the people would finally realize that he's no longer involved with the show. In reply, he said, They don't have to get it straight. I own part of the franchise. On the 18th of June, 2022, at the 49th Annual Daytime Emmy Awards, he was rewarded with a Lifetime Achievement Award by the National Academy of Television, Arts, and Sciences, honoring Bob Villa alongside the cast of This Old House. The longtime show has joined the record of being just the third television show to gain this prestigious award, 
After 60 Minutes, and Sesame Street. Details on how Bob and Diana met and their subsequent marriage haven't been revealed to the public. Hence, not much is known about the couple, except that they tied the knot in a private ceremony in 1975, surrounded by their friends and family. The pair are blessed with three children, a son and two daughters, who have been kept out of the limelight as well. According to her Wikipedia page, Diana Barrett is a philanthropist, professor, and a journalist. She taught at the Harvard School of Public Health and Harvard University Business School. She's a member of the board of directors of the Peabody Awards, presented by the University of Georgia's Henry W. Grady College of Journalism and Mass Communication. As a philanthropist, she serves as president of the Fledgling Fund, an organization she founded which helps support budding writers. It's sad to inform his fans that Bob is no longer reviewing, remodeling, and designing homes on television. Nonetheless, he still works in home improvement but has since handed control of the business to his son Chris, a real estate developer. According to some sources, the pair buy the home to be remodeled and usually successfully flip it for a higher price. The father and son duo regularly work in Palm Beach, Florida. As per Bob's tradition, they prioritize older homes from the 1900s. The latest project the pair worked on was a home in Brooklyn, New York. Bob, similar to his wife, is also a philanthropist and is actively involved in the Habitat for Humanity organization. He's also involved with the National Trust for Historic Preservation, the Hispanic Society Museum, and Library as well as the Finca Vigia Foundation. The latter focused on preserving Ernest Hemingway's Cuba home. In 2016, he released his line of retail tools named Bob Villa. He then set up his website before writing a dozen books on various topics including renovation, architecture, and do-it-yourself tips. Bob has proved to be one to stay on top of the latest trends, regularly updating his website himself. In an interview, he stated, I just took over as CEO again because I want to be more involved. I need to update the publishing end, towards the internet. That's the way publishing is going. I never thought of becoming a web publisher, but now suddenly, I'm a web publisher. Among his new content, Bob has included the older shows in a library on the site. The Living Legend can be found on all social media under Bob Villa. He owns a Twitter account that has a huge following of almost 850,000 followers, his Instagram account has 45,000 followers, and his TikTok page has over 9,000 followers. He has a presence on other sites such as YouTube, Facebook, and Reddit, on which his do-it-yourself tips have circulated for years. Bob Villa has had an extensive career as a television host and entrepreneur that spanned decades. His main source of income include his shows, books he's authored, and the various endorsements he's done over the years. Additionally, he makes money from the houses he flips with his real estate agent son and product endorsements on his channel. Bob and his family currently live in a mansion in Palm Beach, Florida, conservatively worth $30 million. When not in Palm Beach, they live in a home on the Upper East Side in Manhattan, New York City. Bob and Diana also have a number of other properties around the country, including a waterfront mansion in Chilmark, Massachusetts, worth a huge $20 million. Impressive since they acquired the property in 2001 for around $4.6 million. It's safe to say that he's amassed a fairly huge net worth over the years. According to authoritative sources, Bob Villa's net worth is a whopping $70 million as of late 2022. At 73 years young, Bob is living a quiet life with his family, but regularly keeps up his social media presence. One lesson he's learned from his accidental success is his endless dedication and passion to his job. Although he admits his journalism and architectural background helped him, he attributes his success to being constantly driven and focused on his craft. We wish him all the best in his future endeavors. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.